Mr. Speaker, it boils down to courage. But unfortunately, the Prime Minister doesn't have the courage to call for this, to call for dissolution of Parliament. And we know the battle is on all fronts. <laughs> Be it in Parliament, on the streets, or in the court, if the need arises. And we know that what is legal is not always legitimate. This is a very wicked bill introduced, as I've said, by a regime full of will. And the bill is a travesty and tragedy that the right to vote is being denied to 50% of the electorate. We are talking of 350,000 eligible voters who are being robbed of their legitimate rights. It is a betrayal, a perversion of democracy. Promises made are not being honored. There are indeed lessons to, uh, to be learned from Rodrigue. Rodrigue didn't retreat in the face of pandemic. It held the Rodrigue Regional Assembly elections. Mr. Speaker, this bill has to be thrown into the dustbin of history. It is not only rubbish, but it is a symbol of a decadent regime. And the regime has to come to terms that it is a temporary lessee of government house. On Labor Day, the Prime Minister hinted that he was not afraid to face the electorate. It was said in the presence of turncoats and ministers dancing to celebrate the poor turnout. He has been on frock and coat with the pants down with a deflated ego. He chooses to run away. The people want to exercise their democratic rights. I was at the QPIP and Catalan Market Fair and, and people are fuming with rage, calling upon this regime to go. They want the legitimate rights to be restored. Enough is enough. The complicity and duplicity between the political arm of the executive and the Rui cannot last, Mr. Speaker. Pour plus de vidéos, cliquez sur like, abonnez-vous en cliquant sur subscribe et activez la cloche de notification pour rester informé.